friends, I am Dr. Srikant Kurade. I am a laparoscopic and GI surgeon from Pune. Today, we will understand more about gallbladder stone disease or polyolithiasis. Generally, many patients will have gallstone disease, but they will not have any symptoms because of that. They will be absolutely alright, and just on routine investigations, they will find that they have got gallstone disease. Those patients generally surgery is not advised by surgeons, but they warn patients that there may be some complications because of the gallstones in future, and for that they may require surgery. So in today's talk, we'll discuss about what are the complications of gallstones or polyolithiasis. Most common complication is infection of the gallbladder because of the bacterial overgrowth. Generally. Patients develop infection of the gallbladder, which is called as polycystitis, and generally patients have pain in the abdomen and fever. Some patients there may be even worse infection, and there may be pus formation inside the gallbladder, and it is called as impyma. Generally, these patients are operated as an emergency, or sometimes they are treated with IV antibiotics and abdomen rest. For certain days, and after two to three weeks, generally we take them for the surgery. Second complication is jaundice because of the common bile duct obstruction. So, what is common bile duct is from liver to the intestine, one pipe connects, and gallbladder also drains into the bile duct. So, some st stone may slip from the gallbladder and end up into the bile duct. Bile duct being narrow. It gets obstructed, and hence patient may get jaundice. This jaundice is because of the obstruction and not because of the liver problem. Hence, it is called as obstructive jaundice. So, if patient is having obstructive jaundice, we take out the stones by doing procedure called as ERCP, and then we subject patient for the gallbladder removal surgery. Third complication is pancreatitis or pancreas problem. Generally. The common bile duct and pancreas duct open commonly into the intestine and it is very narrow. So if common bile duct gets obstructed, in turn it may cause obstruction of the pancreas duct. So pancreas duct obstruction causes swelling of the pancreas which is called as pancreatitis. It causes intense epigastric pain, vomiting and pain generally radiates to back. So if you are having that kind of symptoms, you may suspect that because of your gallstones, you have dolor pancreatitis and you get immediate medical attention. Next complication is gallbladder cancer. It is very rare, but long-standing gallstones is considered as one of the risk factor for the gallbladder cancer. Generally, in northern India, gallbladder cancers are very common. So if patients Having family history of gallbladder cancer, if they suffer from gallstones, we advise them removal of the gallbladder even if they don't have any symptoms. So, in future talk, I will be elaborating more on this topic of gallstones. So, if you want some more information about this topic, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you.